welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to make a little update video on my TTC journey. Uh, for those of you that don't know what TTC stands for, TTC, yeah, uh, that means trying to conceive. <laughs> so um, if you are not interested in hearing about that journey, go ahead and just click away. I'll wait, go ahead, bye, see you later. Okay, so for those of you that stuck around, I wanted to I want to start talking about things like this on my channel because I have found many channels on YouTube that talk about the TTC journey world and I have found them so incredibly helpful and inspiring and if I can do that for any of you, that is what I would love to do. So um, if you didn't know, and I'll link it in the description if you haven't seen it yet, um, actually you don't even need to watch it, I'll just tell you, I had a miscarriage back um, a few months ago in July and um, my husband and I have been struggling with infertility and it's just been a roller coaster of a year for us and I wanted to kind of give my two cents and kind of update you guys on where I am and maybe this will help you in your own journey. Um, so I had um, some fertility and cycle issues um, leading up to my miscarriage. Um, um, so I was having some issues. We kind of discovered that I have uh, PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, and I really struggled to ovulate on my own without the help of synthetic hormones and drugs and all that fun stuff. So um, my doctor and I decided together to put me on a drug called Clomid, which Clomid is a drug that um, kind of forces you to ovulate or at least trick your body into doing it. So, um, I've been on Clomid now for three cycles, um, and I'm to the point now where I'm, I think I'm done with Clomid. I don't want to take it anymore. Um, the side effects for me have been too intense. Side effects of Clomid are kind of different for everybody, um, but for me, especially the first two cycles I tried it, this last cycle didn't, I didn't have, there wasn't too much effect on me, um, but the mood swings were so intense um, for me personally. Um, I I couldn't I couldn't deal. It was really bad um, to the point where I was just, I was depressed. The clomid wasn't helping my depression with the miscarriage that I had just had. And anyway, so um, I'm on clomid on this cycle now, and I don't think it's working. The longer you take clomid, the less effective it becomes. Um, and I don't think it's working for me at all. Um, I've been taking OPKs, which are ovulation predictor kits, and um, I've been tracking my cycle also on an app called Ovia, which I highly recommend for those of you, especially with your regular, your regular cycles and you're like, trying to figure yourself out. Um, I really, really recommend Ovia. I've tried a few others, uh, Clue and one other one, and Ovia has been my favorite by far. So if you're needing a good app to help track your TTC journey, I highly recommend Ovia. But um, anyways, so I'm to the point now where I want to be done with Clomid, and I'd like to talk to my doctor about um, trying Fermera. So for those of you that have tried Fermera, let me know if it's worked for you. Um, I'd love to hear your stories in the comments, or you can connect with me on social media. You can find me at It's Kelsey's Life on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, and most importantly here. Um, uh, if you did like this video and you find it helpful in any way, um, go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I will be continuing this TTC journey videos as time goes on. So of course, make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.